tallest buildings of the future. For 3,800 years, the Egyptian pyramids stood as the tallest man-made buildings until the Lincoln Cathedral construction in 1311. In today's modern world, the advancements in technology and construction engineering has countries pushing their architectural capabilities to the limit, trying to build the tallest buildings of the future. Today, we will be looking at the top 5 tallest buildings of the future, starting with the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, a proposed skyscraper in Kuwait. We will also address the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, the Creek Tower in Dubai, and the design concept skyscraper, the Times Square 3015, proposed in New York. Welcome to Level Up, a place where ambitious people come to turn their dreams into reality. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to enjoy more videos like this. The Burj Mubarak Al Kabir is a proposed skyscraper that will be part of the proposed city of Madinat Al Harir, which is Arabic for Silk City. The City of Silk will cover an area of 62,000 acres and will be able to host 700,000 occupants and create jobs for 450,000 people. The development of Silk City is estimated to cost $132 billion and can take more than two decades to complete. The main attraction in the city will be the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, a skyscraper proposed to be 1,001 meters high and intends to be completed by the year 2030. The height of the building is inspired by the Arabian folklore 1001 Arabian Nights. Usually, most skyscrapers do not exceed 80 floors because the number of elevators needed would be too many, making the design impractical. The Burj Mubarak goes beyond this with 234 proposed levels, and to deal with the elevators issue, the building will be fitted with double and even triple decker elevators to serve the floors. As a mitigating factor against strong winds, the Burj Mubarak's design is that of three different buildings interlocking at a 45 degree angle. Also, there are ailerons similar to the little wings on planes fitted vertically on the building's edges that can be adjusted to change wind direction away from the building. The Burj Mubarak will also be surrounded by seven 30-story buildings that will house hotels, offices, and apartments. If the building is completed by 2030, it will be taller than the Burj Khalifa in Dubai that currently holds the record of the highest building in the world at 828 meters. The Burj Mubarak Al Kabir might not get to keep the tallest building's record because the proposed Tokyo Sky Mile Tower is taller at 1700 meters, and the Jeddah Tower currently under construction will be about 1008 meters high. The Jeddah Tower is another cutting-edge massive skyscraper. It was previously known as the Kingdom Tower and is in the first phase of the Jeddah Economic City to be located in the northern part of Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. The city will cover about 1,285 acres and have an estimated cost of $20 billion, with the Jeddah Tower being the centerpiece of the town. Jeddah Tower's height is a well-guarded secret during development, as was the case for the Burj Khalifa. This does not come as a surprise, considering the architect assigned with to the building is the Chicago-based architect Adrian Smith, who also designed the Burj Khalifa. While we do not know the exact size of the tower, we know that the intended height is over 1,000 meters high, as the aim is to surpass a kilometer in height. Still, investigation of the bedrock showed that it would be difficult to build a building of that height, so the developer went metric. Jeddah Tower will have 167 floors, served by 59 express elevators and will include features like luxury condominiums, a Four Seasons Hotel and service departments, departmental offices, and the world's highest observatory. Construction of this massive tower commenced in 2013 and was halted in 2018 due to legal challenges, although construction is expected to resume any time in 2020. If the development of Jeddah Tower continues, it will most likely be a structural and architectural marvel and the first skyscraper to be more than a kilometer high. The Dubai Creek Tower is the next archaeological masterpiece in our video. The skyscraper is shrouded in mystery, as the developers have not yet disclosed the height of the tower, with people estimating anywhere between 828 and 1,400 meters in height. The number of floors has also not been officially released, but people close to the developers hint at 210 stories. 
the skyscraper did not even have an official name and was first referred to as a tower at Dubai Creek Harbor. But it has now been named to Dubai Creek Tower. Dubai Creek Tower is located at Dubai Creek Harbor, which is a part of a project to make the harbor a new district in Dubai after electing more futuristic buildings in the area. Dubai Creek Tower will be the centerpiece of Dubai Creek Harbor District, with the architect Santiago Calatrava designing its top to look like the famous Desert Lily. Construction of the tower began in 2016, and the foundation was complete by 2017. The official planned opening will be in 2021. The majestic tower will host apartments, luxury residents, offices, and restaurants. The most exciting feature of the tower will be its 10 viewing platforms that provide a 360-degree view of Dubai and the harbor. The platform's design was inspired by the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, which is a beautiful addition to the $1 billion skyscraper. The world is anxiously awaiting to see if Dubai will uphold its legacy of having the tallest building in the world. Which of these projects do you think is the most amazing? Leave a comment down in the comment section and let us know what you think. The next building of the future is the Tokyo Sky Mile Tower, which is a part of Tokyo's 2045 initiative that encourages architects to come up with viable solutions to climate change problems. This initiative will prove very helpful to Tokyo as Japan is situated on median tectonic plates, meaning the region is always at risk from earthquakes and rising sea levels. The Sky Mile Tower is proposed to be situated in the future District Bay of Tokyo and will be 1,700 meters high. The tower will include ingenious designs, like using futuristic technology to collect rainwater and moisture from clouds, which will then be stored in reservoirs that will use gravity to distribute the water to lower levels. The building will also have an advanced transport system with elevators that can move both vertically and horizontally in the tower. The initiative is only a hypothetical proposal to encourage architects to discover environmentally compatible solutions to modern-day problems. The Times Square 3015 is the final tall building we will address. The Times Square is a mile-high concept for a vertical city. This design concept was proposed for Times Square in New York City. The building would be over a mile high, at 1,733 meters tall, towering over New York City. The building is not an original business idea. But if it was, it would involve an impressive feat of construction engineering. The design concept focuses on the creation of a self-sustained community in this towering skyscraper. The impressively designed building would include a mountain range, modern vertical farming, a sandy beach, a mall, a stadium, redwood forest, and houses and offices. The south side of the building would be open with L-shaped living modules. The building would also utilize an extensive elevator system with the main elevator stopping only at significant modules and secondary ones to move within modules. If it ever was built, the Times Square would be the tallest building in the world, as it would be the first building built over a mile high. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you will never miss any of our weekly videos. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. We'll see you next time.